Hey guys, I'm going to share 26 and 2 Hatha Yoga Sequence, about 60 minute class. In a few minutes, we'll get started at 5.30. So grab your yoga mats, get your heater on, get some water. everyone. Get ready for yoga in a few minutes. We'll get started. If you have a space heater, you can put one on. Or if you want, put on some layers so that you'll get nice and warm during practice. Or do some jumping jacks. Getting started in two minutes. Thanks for joining us today for Hatha Yoga. I hope that you guys can hear me. We're going to get started with 26 and 2. Traditional Hatha sequence compressed into 60 minutes. So um, you're welcome to take breaks if you want. You're practicing at home. You can always modify the poses if you have any injuries or anything. Just move mindfully. Um, and make sure you're breathing the whole time. Do your best, okay? Come into Savasana whenever you want. Grab water when you want. But since we're not in a heated room, it'll be great if you just wait until after class to have your water. So grab a sip of water right now and then wait until the end so that your body will get really, really warm if that serves you. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start with pranayama deep breathing. Deep breathing is good for the heart, lungs, respiratory system. It'll prepare your body for practice. The breath is in through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale and exhale for six counts of 10 breaths. I will quickly demonstrate the breathing and what it looks like for you. And so will my partner breath, start with your toes and heels touching. Interlace your five fingers webbing to webbing grip. The knuckles glued to the chin. Knuckles never leave the chin. Looking forward, exhale everything out. And as you inhale, lift your elbows up. Fill up your lungs, make a snoring sound in the back of the throat. Take a little bit more air. As you exhale, drop your head back and open your mouth. Draw your elbows forward and empty your lungs. Hold it. So notice how his fingers don't leave his chin and his elbows are right in front of the shoulders. This is what you want. Okay, so now we'll start with our 10 breaths. So look forward, interlace your five fingers, webbing to webbing grip, knuckles glued to the chin. Exhale everything out, concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, arms up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, hold. Exhale, head back. H A ha. Squeeze all the air out. Navel to the spine. Elbows together. Inhale, arms up, head down. 
Fill up your lungs like two big balloons and try to take in more air with each breath. More and more. Full lungs. Exhale. Head back. H A ha. Elbows forward. Empty lungs. Navel to the spine. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Head back. Open mouth. Elbows forward. Navel to the spine. And hold. Inhale. Arms up. Draw your navel in and expand your ribcage, intercostal muscles. Take in more air. More and more and more and more and more. Now exhale. Breathe every last drop of air out using full six seconds. Hold. Inhale. Make more space in the side body. Lift your arms up so high one day they will touch the face. Exhale. Head back. Open mouth. Squeeze all the air out. Elbows together. Empty lungs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Draw your stomach in. Keep your chest up. Keep your hips forward. Legs tight. Full lungs. Exhale, head back. Open up your mouth. Let every last drop of air leave the body. Elbows together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Fill up your lungs, lift your elbows, take in more air, more and more and more and more. Exhale, head back, open mouth. Squeeze all the air out. Navel to the spine, two more sets to go. Inhale, arms up. Draw your navel in. Take in more air, get tall. Fill up your lungs, all full. Now exhale, H-A ha. Squeeze all the air out, more than you can. Elbows together. This is the last breath, make it the slowest. Longest, deepest breath you're going to take all day. See if you think you're done. Take one more sip at the top. Lift your arms high. Now exhale. Head back. Open mouth. Breathe every last drop of air out. Elbows, forearms, elbows together. Wrists together. Hold. And please release. You can roll out your shoulders. And rock your head side to side. And for the rest of class, we'll keep the breathing through the nose. And the mouth stays closed. Toes and heels touching nicely. Squeeze your legs together. Heels together. Inhale, arms up. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Weight in the heels, hips forward. Upper body slightly back. Palms together. Stretch up. Exhale, move right. Warming up. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, move left. Start to move right and left, right and left. Side to side, back and forth, several times. Each time you pass by the center, try to get a little bit taller. Right and left, right and left. Tuck your hips in the opposite direction of your arms. Two more times. And then stop there in the middle. Let's come into our first long step. Half moon pose. Weight in the heels, hips forward, arms straight, upper body slightly back. Inhale, exhale, move up and over to your right side. Pull your palms together to the wrist. Stop at your first point of resistance. Roll your left shoulder back, left hip forward. Inhale, exhale, come down and push. Two arms are straight, both hips pressed to the left. Reach with your strong arms to the right. Lift up your chin so your throat's visible in the mirror. And if you have a big beard, you won't be able to see your throat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come down and push. Let's try our last few deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, come down, press. And one more deeper, big breath. Exhale, come down, push, push. Change, raise all the way up. Reach and stretch straight up. Inhale. Draw your arms slightly back, hips forward, palms together. Stretch up. Exhale, move up and over to your left side. A nice slow deep breath for the rest of class. Press your hips to the right side. Squeeze your arms very straight. Roll your right shoulder back, right hip forward. Inhale. With each exhale, come down deeper. 
extreme stretching on the right side body, compression on the left side. Press your hips past the line of your foot. And now let's find our last few deep breaths. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come down. Push, push, push. Change, rise all the way up. Reach and stretch up. Drop your head back for backward bending. Take it out a few times. Swallow a few times if you like. Keep the weight on the heels. Squeeze your legs. Press your hips forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drag a line up and back towards the wall behind you. Stomach, hips, thighs, everything press forward. Arms reach back, pull back, way back, more back. Change, rise all the way up, squeeze the legs, suck your stomach in, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees as much as you need. With a straight back, place your hands on the mat, start to walk out your legs, move your hips side to side, do some squats. Move your knees right and left, right and left, and get any Tension out of your low back, get your low back to be nice and loose, easy, comfortable, flexible. A few more squats, warming up the legs, bringing fluid, lubrication, synovial fluid around the knees, ankles, hips. Bada has fasten my hands to feet pose. Take your hands behind your legs, slide them all the way down underneath your heels, stepping on all five fingers. Try to wrap your elbows behind the legs if possible. If this isn't available, step on the hands from the outer feet. So a deep breath in. Exhale as you pull. Bend your knees as much as you need and bring your stomach to your thigh. Your chest to your knee. Your face to the legs below the knees. Lean your weight forward a tiny bit. Suck your stomach in. Lift your hips up as you pull with your strong arms and draw your elbows behind the legs. Wrapping them. Inhale. Exhale, pull. Front of the head towards the toes, pull and pull. Okay, arms with your ears, slowly rise up with a flat back. As you inhale, reach and stretch straight up. Exhale, float your arms down, standing pose. Take a deep breath, in and out. Second set, Abha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. Feet together, toes and heels touching nicely. Inhale, arms overhead, interlace your fingers, release the index. Press your hips forward, reach your upper body slightly back. Stretch straight up. Exhale, move up and over to your right side. And now right away, find the place where you left off. This time, tilt your sternum up towards the sky like a flower blooming to the sun. Draw your left hip forward. Strain your arms. Lift your chin. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Push. Come down. Press. Press. Change ways all the way up as you inhale. Set it up. Hips forward. Arms slightly back. Squeeze your legs together. Stretch. Inhale, exhale, move up and over to your left side. Cross your hips to the right side. Slightly tilt your sternum up like a flower blooming to the sun. Draw your right hip forward. Squeeze your hands, palms together. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, come down, push. Inhale, exhale, come down, push. One more big breath. Come down, press, press. And change. Raise all the way up as you inhale. Keep your arms long, four, backward bending, drop your head back, shake it out, swallow a few times, relax your throat. Arms stay overhead, even if this is where the deepest back bend, you can stay here. If it's available, press your hips forward and begin to drag your arms back, maybe a little, maybe a lot. Go to where your body allows to squeeze, stomach, hips, thighs, everything forward, and now reach back, go back, way back. Take one more breath, stretch straight arms, and change. Rise all the way up as you inhale. Stomach in. Fold forward as you exhale. Bend your knees as much as you need. Take your hands behind your calves and slide all five fingers under the heels, thumb with the index, from behind or from the outer feet. Bend your knees as much as you need so you place your stomach to your thighs. Now take a deep breath. Exhale as you pull. Upper and lower body compressed like a peanut butter sandwich. Wrap your elbows behind the calves towards one another. Bend your knees more and try to get your armpits to your outer legs. Nice. Take a deep breath. Exhale, pull, pull, tailbone up. Work to straighten your legs. Aim to lock your knees. One more chance. Take a breath. Lock your knees and stretch. Nice. Change. Arms with your ears. 
Slowly rise up as you inhale, reach and stretch straight up. Exhale, flow your arms down. Tadasana, mountain pose. Utkatasana, awkward pose. Step your right foot to the right, six inches. Six inches between toes and heels. It's about the space of two fists. If you want to measure, feet parallel. Inhale, extend your arms forward. Squeeze your biceps and triceps. Everything nice and strong. Navel in. Exhale as you sit down. Weight in the heels. In this first chair, press your hips to the back wall as you reach your arms forward. Maximum weight in the heels. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Contract your abdominal wall. Restrict your abdominal muscles. And now backward bend your upper spine like cobra. Shoulders back. Nice change. Rise up as you inhale. Press through your heels. Good job, guys. Come onto your tippy toes. Press your ankles forward. Now draw a deep breath in. Exhale as you lower down. Shoulders over hips. Right knee up. Left knee up. Sit into the chair, but not below the chair. Stomach in. Lock your arms. And change. Rise up as you inhale. Leave the arms. Drop the heels. Arms stay straight and strong. Contracted. Draw the navel to the spine as you inhale. Now lift your heels halfway and squeeze your knees and thighs together. Just about two inches off the floor. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale as you slowly lower down for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at your lowest squat. Slope your knees down and forward like holding a box from the side. Bounce a few times if you'd like to test your balance. Stop on the up bound and slowly rise up. Six, shoulders back, five, four, nice control. Three, two, one. Feet together, arms to the side, Tadasana, mountain pose. And then breathe. Second set, Utkatasana, awkward chair. Step your right foot to the right, same footprint. Inhale, extend your arms forward, squeeze the biceps and triceps. Draw your navel to the spine. Exhale as you sit down. The weight is in the heels. The hips press back. The arms reach forward, stomach, stomach, stomach. Start to backward bend your chest, shoulders back. Take one more breath. Very strong. Change, rise up as you inhale. Leave your arms. Come onto your tippy toes. All the way up to your big and second toe. Now concentrate. Take a breath. Exhale as you lower down with a straight spine. Shoulders stay above the hips. Find your chair, not below the chair. Right knee up. Left knee up. Knees, hands, feet six inches apart. One more breath. Change. Inhale as you rise up. Nice work. Leave your arms. Heels come down. For part three, lift your heels up halfway. Squeeze your knees and thighs together. Don't let them come apart like you're holding something precious. Now take a breath and slowly lower down for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your lowest squat just above the heel. Slope your knees down and forward. If you need, you can bring your hands down for support. If you'd like, test your balance. Bounce a few times. Stop on the up bounce and slowly rise like you don't want to. Drop the heels, two feet down, arms to the side. Tadasana. Last of our warm up, Garudasana, Eagle Pose. Toes and heels together nicely. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, right elbow under left. Cross and twist your arms. Bring your palms together. If that's not available, hold on to your shoulders. Pull your elbows, your fingers down. Sit into chair, lift your chest. Weight in the left leg, right leg over left. The higher you lift, the more space to cross and twist. Now sit down nice and low. Squeeze everything and breathe. Maximum weight in the heels, navel to the spine. At the end, backward bend your upper spine. Change. Arms overhead, inhale. Left elbow under right, exhale. Cross and twist or hold shoulders. If possible, palms flat, elbows down, fingers down. Sit in chair, chest up, weight in the right leg. Left leg over right, squeeze everything. Point your toes down or tuck them behind your calf. Bring your knees slightly left, elbows right. Sit down deeper. Shoulders back. One more breath. Change. Exhale. Inhale. Arms overhead. Second set. 
Right elbow under left, exhale. Elbows, fingers down, sit in chair. Chest up, weight in the left leg. Right leg over left. Squeeze everything. Now that you have a little balance, pull your elbows towards your knees as you draw your shoulders away from your hips. Three, sit down, sit down, two, one, change. Arms overhead, inhale. Left elbow under right, or shoulders. Pull your arms down, try to see above your fingers. Sit in chair, chest up, weight on the right side, left leg over right. Squeeze everything tight. Sit down a little bit lower. Knees to the left, elbows to the right. Elbows pull down as shoulders pull back. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Change, arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, arms to the side. You can take a sip of water here. Quick break. And we're gonna move forward. Standing balancing series. Dandi Mana Janu Shoshasana, standing for hand. Step back a little bit. Stand with your two feet touching. Shift your weight to your left leg and lift your right thigh parallel to the floor. Flex your right toes towards your face. Stabilize your left leg. Make sure your left leg is solid, concrete, one piece, and broken. Lock your knee. You can stay here and this is the pose, but if your left leg is stable, like Brent's is over here, then move on. Squeeze your stomach. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round forward. Pick up your foot from underneath with all five fingers interlaced. Thumb with the index. Two inches below the toes. Now try to get the grip. If you have the grip, squeeze your stomach and lift your chest first. Inhale. Exhale, slowly kick forward from your hip to the heel. Low breath. Lean your weight slightly forward and pull your toes back, stretching your Achilles tendon. Take your right leg parallel to the floor. If you have two straight legs and you still feel stable, squeeze your stomach in, bring your leg down a little bit. Exhale, right elbow left, elbow down. Once the elbows come below the calves, then tuck your chin and bring your forehead to the knee. Stay in, kick. Push through the heel, pull to the toes. Here for three, two, one, step by step, find your way out. Meet in standing pose, good work. Take a deep breath, let that side go. Shift your weight on the right leg, lift your left thigh parallel to the floor, flex your toes. Make sure your right leg is locked, solid, concrete, one piece, unbroken, there's no bend in your knee. Squeeze your stomach in, inhale, lift your chest. Stay here if you like, if you're stabilizing, but if you're stable, then exhale, round forward, and pick up your foot from underneath with all five fingers, thumb with the index below the foot, two inches below the foot. Now first stabilize, lock your right knee, then first lift your chest, squeeze your stomach in. If you still feel stable, then kick forward from the hip to the heel. Don't be in a rush. Slow breath, nice job. Nice job. Once you have two straight legs, you're pulling your toes back, pushing through the heel, knees locked. Squeeze your stomach in, then right elbow, left elbow down, lock your knee. Once your two elbows come below the calf, then and only then tuck your chin and bring your forehead to the knee. Kick hard. Three. Three. Two. One. First the head comes up, then straighten your legs. Drop your left foot down. Find standing pose. If you'd like, place your hands at your low back. Release any compression in the lower front side spine. Good work. Second set, Dandiyamana Janusharshasana. Standing forehead to knee. Shift your weight to the left leg, lift your right thigh parallel to the floor. Squeeze the stomach in, and if you're stable, stay here, or if you're stable, round forward, exhale. Pick up your foot from underneath. Get a good grip, get stable on each step. Tuck your stomach in, lift your chest, inhale. As you exhale, very slowly kick forward from the hip to the heel. Good job, lock your left knee and breathe. Pull your toes back, stretching your Achilles tendon. You have two straight legs, navel to the spine, right elbow, left elbow down. Once the elbows come below the calf, kick hard, forehead to the knee. Stay with me. Breathe for three, two. Stay with me for one. Just lift your head first. Straighten your arms. Then bend your right knee. Nice work. Let the right foot come down. Standing pose. Excellent job. Weight to your right leg. 
left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, toes flat. You're in your pose already. Lock your right knee. If your right knee is locked and stable like this, squeeze your stomach in, lift your chest. Exhale, round forward. Pick up your foot from underneath with all five fingers. Thumb with the index. Now get stable first. Lock your right knee. Lift up your chest. Inhale. Stomach in. Exhale, kick forward from the hip to the heel. Pull your toes back. Push through your heel. Lock your left knee. Press the back of the leg down. Go. If you have two straight legs, you're still stable. Squeeze the stomach. Drop the right elbow, left elbow down. Once they come below the calf, then and only then tuck your chin. Bring your forehead to the knee. Now kick. Lock your right knee and kick. One more kick. Step by step, find your way out. First the head, then the arm. Left leg down. Standing pose. Hands to your low back if you'd like to release. Hips forward. Dandy Mana Dhanurasana, standing bow. Shift your weight to your left leg. Bring your right elbow, right hand to your right. Bend your right knee and scoop your foot from the inside. Five fingers together, side by side. Left arm up, palm face forward, shoulder by your ear. Stay here if this is a good stretch and you're working on stability, but if you're stable, then inhale breathing, kick back and up as you reach forward. The kick and the stretch should be equal, feeling a stretch at the front of the hip. Bring your body down and leg up and squeeze your five fingers reaching together. Shoulder to the chin. Reach between your two eyebrows if there's a mirror in front. Take your right leg back and up. And bring your abdomen and chest down. Two shoulders stretch apart. Two legs stretch apart. Bring your weight slightly forward. Lock your left knee. Come down. Kick. 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 Change. Rise up as you inhale. Feet together. Arms float down. Take a nice deep breath and let it go. Nice work. Second set. Uh, second side, weight on the right leg, left elbow, left hand to the left. Scoop your foot from the inside, five fingers together. Start with your knees together. Reach your right arm up, palm face forward. Shoulder by the ear. Stay here or inhale, breathing, kick back and up as you reach forward. Shoulder to your chin. Bring your body down and leg up. Put your two legs apart. Lean slightly forward on your standing leg. Lock your standing knee. The two shoulders stretch apart. Bring your left hip down slightly. Lock your right arm shoulder to the chin. And come down, kick. In a deeper place, come down, kick. Take that left leg up. Come down, kick, kick. Change, raise all the way up. Feet together, arms float down. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Second set, half the time, right away, go to the place where you left off. Weight on the left leg, right elbow, right hand to the right. Bend your right knee, scoop your foot from the inside. If you want to take it deeper, hold on to your ankle. Start with your knees together. Reach your left arm up, palm forward. Stay here or inhale, breathing. Body down, leg up. And come into your deepest place right away. Meditate on a slow, deep breath. Engage your right glute. Engage your right hamstring. Bring your right shoulder above your left. Come down to your deepest place and kick for five, four, three, two, one. Change, rise all the way. Feet together, arms float down. Weight on the right leg, left elbow, hand to the left. Scoop your foot from the inside or hold your ankle. Reach your right arm up, palm side. Palm facing forward, five fingers together. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, come down. Meditate on your breathing. Go to your deepest place right away. Now stretch your two shoulders apart. Squeeze your left glutes very hard. Take your left leg back and up and bring your body down and leg up. Come down, leg up. This place for five, kick for four, shoulder to the chin, three, two, one, change, raise up, feet together, arms to the side, take a deep breath, exhale, nice work, take a step to the back of the mat, four, two, legend, dasana, balancing stick, ten second pose, where we go, very back of the mat, Feel your feet together, nice, inhale, arms 
like a natural human tug of war. Stretch forward, stretch back, stretch, stretch, lock your knees. Change. Inhale, step back, feet together. Arms float down, exhale. Please take a quarter turn to the right side. Stand your mana, divasapada, on your shirt, Pachamatmasana, wide leg forward fold. Step onto the left side of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, right foot to the right, a big step with wide arms. Three to four feet, so that's a little wide. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, very slowly, fold forward, lead with your heart. Look forward till you pass your hips. And then slide all five fingers underneath your heels. If that's not available, the outer feet, or hold as low as you can on the ankles. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Look down to the floor between your toes. Bring your weight forward 90%. Nice. Engage your biceps and bend your elbows as you fold. Stay pulling, inhale. Exhale, fold. Look down to the floor over here and try to reach your forehead. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Pull, try to get your forehead to the mat. Nice work. Extend your arms wide, tuck your stomach in, slowly rise up as you inhale. Keep your legs wide, arms wide. Coming into second set with a variation, if you'd like, you can do a twist, headstand, or shoulder rinse. So I'll guide you through shoulder rinse, interlace your hands behind, pull your arms down and up, lift your chest, inhale, fold forward as you exhale, lead with your heart. This time let your head dangle down and relax your neck. Try to reach your arms away from your low back. Keep shifting your weight forward towards your toes. Squeeze your stomach in. Inhale. Exhale. Try to bring the crown of your head to the floor. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Arms down. And one more. Extend your arms wide. Slowly rise up as you inhale. Right foot to the left, arms overhead. Exhale, arms float down. Nice work. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Marriage of the heart and lungs, RP posture. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, right foot to the right, wide arm, wide leg. Inhale, lift your right toes. Turn them to the right. Exhale, sit down, sit down into the right knee. You should have heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. So you're standing on one line. Bend your right knee deeply to 90 degrees if possible. Stop when you're low. Inhale, palms sideways. Exhale, two arms to the right. Right elbow in front of right knee. Wrap your up, shoulder to the chin. Turn and twist, gazing up. Stay breathing through your nose calmly. Use your right elbow to press your right knee to the right. Drop your left hip down and forward. Turn and twist your upper body, stretching your arms apart. Now reach your top arm up a little. Bring your left leg straight, left heel flat. One more breath. Inhale, raise up, arms and chest together. Straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out. Exhale, sit down, sit down. Make sure your heels are in about a line. Stay your left leg at 90 degrees. Now stop when you're low. Inhale, palms sideways. Exhale, two arms in one line, like a windmill. Left elbow in front of left knee, right arm up, shoulder to your chin. Turn and twist, gazing up. Use your left elbow to encourage your left knee to the left. 
Drop your right hip down and forward. In this pose, you sit down as you also twist and lift up. Now bring your right leg straight, right heel flat. One more breath. Change as you inhale, rise up, arms and chest. Straighten your left leg, left toes in. Right foot to the left, arms overhead. Exhale, arms down to the side. Take a relaxing breath. Second side. Inhale, arms overhead, palms back. Exhale, right foot to the right, big step. Wide arms. Inhale, right toes to the right. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, palms sideways. Exhale, arms sideways. Turn your arms to the right, right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up, shoulder to the chin. Put your two arms, shoulders apart. Now check your tailbone underneath. Keep your left leg straight, left heel flat. From this place, just lift up your toes. Change. Rise up as you inhale, arms and chest. Straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out. Exhale, sit down. Inhale. Exhale, turn your arms to the left. Left elbow in front of knee. Right arm up. Stretch your arms apart as much as you can. Check your tailbone under, drop your hips down. Lock your right knee very straight, ignite your right leg. And now just lift your toes. Nice. Inhale, rise up, arms and chest. Straighten in your left leg, left toes in, right foot to left, arms overhead. Exhale, float your arms down. Tadasana, take a deep breath. Exhale. Dandi Mana Bibhakta Pada, Jani Shoshasana, standing separate leg, forehead to knee, lift, stretching. Inhale, arms overhead, palms touch. This time, interlace your thumbs, so you have this. Inhale, right foot to the right, three feet. Lift up your toes and pivot towards the right. Press your left hip forward several times. Now arms behind the ears. Inhale, lift your chest and use your arms to tuck your chin as you round down. Exhale. Round your spine, bring your forehead to your knee. You can bend your front knee and you can separate your hands to both sides of your foot. Whatever you need to do to get your forehead to the knee by pressing your hands against the floor. And once you have stability, then bring your palms back together. Stay breathing. Add a little extra weight to your right leg, right hip back, left hip forward. Gaze toward the navel, forehead to the knee, not below. One more breath, lock your front knee at the end. Change, slowly rise up as you inhale, press through your heels, squeeze your stomach in. That wall ahead of you. Nice work. Take a quarter turn to your left. Quarter turn to the back of your neck. Arms overhead. Bring your arms behind the ears. Exhale, tuck your chin, and you go down with a very round spine curling down. The rounding spine position we do in Hapa. You can bend the front knee to get your forehead to your knee, and you can separate your hands. But once you have balance and your forehead to the knee, then you bring your palms to back together. And if your forehead is not on your knee, then bend it quite a bit. Go ahead and bend your knee up. Yeah, just the front. Palms back together. Right hip forward, left hip back. Squeeze the stomach in. Lock your front knee and slowly roll up. Arms stay with the ears. Head comes up last. Press straight up, inhale. Take a quarter turn to the right. Right foot to the left. Exhale, arms down to the side. Draw deep breath in. Nice work. Three pose. Shift your weight to your left leg. Scoop your right heel up and in front of your left hip. Bring the sole of the foot in front of the hip. Be very gentle with your right knee and relax your right knee down. If this doesn't work for your body or it's painful, foot in the thigh will work. Foot in the calf or figure four. Bring one or both hands to your chest. Root down as you stretch up. You're welcome to stay here or if you'd like, take toe stand, fold forward with a flat back. Place your hands to the mat. Sit just above the heel. Then bring your left hand and right hand to the chest. Two knees in line, chest stretches up. 
toes down, variations, find your way back. Hands to the heart. One more breath together. Inhale. Exhale, release your right leg. Shift your weight to your right leg. Ignite your right leg. That's your tree trunk. Make it very strong. Flex the muscle above your thigh. And then squeeze your, uh, lift up your left leg in front of your right hip. Bring one or both hands to your chest. If you need to, do a variation. If your foot slips, you can hold it. Keep stretching up tall. Keep your chin slightly tucked. And if you try toe stand on the other side, fold forward with a flat back. Place your hands on the mat. Sit just, bend your left knee, lifting your heel, and sit just above your left heel. Two knees in line, left hand, and right hand to the chest. Eventually, lift your hips off your heels. Variations, find your way back carefully. Bring your hands to your heart. Exhale to release. Nice work. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Come on down to the mat. Grab some water and come into Savasana, reclining position. Your whole body is long. Palms face up by your thighs. You relax your whole body. When you're just right, come slowly down and do the work. Slow, deep breaths. Resting. Balance in the body, pelvic is a posture, shoulder is outward, head, pelvic is posture. The practice goes in Savasana. Just work at the work or letting go, focus on center and relaxation. Keep balance in the body. Relaxation is just as important as the act of focus. Bhavana Mottasana, Winter Living Pose. Bend your right knee and interlace your five fingers at the top of your knee joint. All five fingers interlace at the top of the shin, two inches below the knee. Inhale. Exhale, draw your right knee down and around your right ribs towards your shoulder. Avoid your ribs, avo avoid your stomach, and squeeze it down to the side of the body. Squeeze pretty tight. Inhale, exhale, pull. Slightly tuck your chin. Here on this side, we have the ascending colon. Keep the pull. Inhale, exhale, pull, squeeze, come press. Stay here, or I welcome you to take half happy baby pose or find a spine twist. Inhale, exhale, guide your leg left for spine twist. Or pull your leg to the right for half happy baby pose. Shoulders stay on the mat. Please return to center. I guess that's good. Please return to center and release your right leg. Now take your left knee up in towards your left shoulder. Interlace all five fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Draw your left knee down and around your ribs. Tuck your chin so you're gazing to your chest. Squeeze pretty hard. Here on this side, we have the descending colon. Try to keep both shoulders on the mat and slightly tuck your chin so your neck flattens towards the ground. Inhale, exhale, pull, squeeze, compress. Stay here or find a twist half or half happy baby. Inhale, exhale, guide your leg to the right for spine twist. Or for half happy baby, you guide your leg to the left like this. Inhale, return to center, and now release your left leg. Two knees into the chest for part three. Reach around your legs for opposite elbows until one day you'll grip them. 
Maybe the tightest thing for you is your forearms or your wrists, whatever is the tightest. But go for the elbows. Inhale, exhale, pull. Pull your knees to your chest as you draw your tailbone down. Try to get your whole spine flat to the floor. Squeeze everything very tight. Here we massage the transverse colon. Try to pull your tailbone down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, pull, compress. Massaging the transverse colon. Stay here or find happy baby pose. Hold the feet from the inside or outside. You can walk around. You can try variations like straightening one or both legs or listen to your foot like a telephone or try legs back behind your head. Play around, maybe roll around. And please extend your legs straight back to the mat, Savasana. Next, we have a yoga sit up. If you're pregnant, if you have a spinal, it, spinal thing going on that you're healing, you're healing your neck, you want to avoid the sit-up, you have cramps, you can avoid that. Just roll over onto your belly. Otherwise, take the sit-up. Flex your feet towards your face, feet together to protect the back. Interlace your thumbs. Palms open like a book, like this. Inhale, arms overhead. And now sit up. Inhale. Double exhale. Palms to the feet. Forehead to the knees, elbows to the sides. Now come up and turn around, lie on your belly for Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. With the legs long behind you. The toes press down into the mat. Hands underneath your shoulders, elbows in. Exhale everything out. Inhale as you lift up. Lift up your chest, lift up your eyes. Keep your elbows squeezing into the sides and press your toenails down. Now lift up. Go up higher, look up, get all the way to your belly button, and slowly release as you exhale. Look to the right, rest your arms by your side for a moment. Relax. Chin to the mat, second set, Bhujangasana Cobra, hands under shoulders, elbows squeeze in. Exhale everything out. Inhale, lift up your chest, your heart, your eyes. Gaze towards the ceiling. Use little to no help of your hands. You can lift up your hands if that's what you're using. Just lift up, go up. Exhale, slowly release. Look to the left. And relax. Completely relax, surrender. Turn to the mat for Shalabhasana Locust Pose. Lift your right hip and left hip, sliding both arms underneath the body, the palms face down. Try to get your elbows towards one another if possible, like this. Now relax your left leg and point lock and lift your right leg. Reaching back and up. Good. Squeeze your right butt, squeeze your right hamstring. Just lift a little bit more. Lock your right knee. Exhale, release your right leg. Right leg loose. Right leg, relax. Now point lock and lift your left leg by itself. Bring your weight forward, press into your palms, your shoulders, squeeze your left butt, and instead of leaning your weight to your right hip, squeeze your left side. Just lift one more inch, lock your knee, point your toes, exhale, release left leg. Nice work. Readjust your hands and palms closer to your knee. Hollow your chest by rounding your shoulders forward and place your mouth to the mat. Now don't let your head move. Exhale everything out. Inhale, lift up both legs. Now just shift your weight forward, press into your palms, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale to slowly release. Release your arms, look over to your leg, and relax like that. Into the mat, or finger shalabhasana, full locust pose. Wide arms like airplane wings. <laughs> Squeeze your legs together like you have a tail. Exhale everything out. <coughs> Inhale, lift up, arms, legs, chest. Little by little, go higher and higher. This is putting pressure on your low lungs, so take shallow breaths. Lift your heart, lift your eyes, draw your arms up and back. And now look up, lift up, get your legs up. Very strong, fully release. 
flip to the left and rest. Into the mat, take a set, locust, wide arms like wings. Squeeze your legs together, exhale everything out. Inhale, lift up, arms, legs, chest. Bring your arms back, squeeze your back body, squeeze your shoulders together. Look up, lift up, chest up, eyes up, eyes up. Exhale, slowly release, look the other way. Rock through last. Into the mat for Dhanurasana, bow pulling pose. Bend your knees and catch your feet from the outside. Relax your shoulders so all the work happens in the legs. You can do one leg at a time if you'd like. Now exhale everything out. Inhale, lift up, arms, legs, and chest. This posture is all about the kick. Shallow breaths through the top of your lungs, little sips of air. Roll forward to the soft part by your belly button. Keep your ribs off the floor. Lift your chest, lift your eyes, use your strong legs, kick, kick, look up, kick, and slowly release, exhale. Look to the left, relax, big toes together, heels fall out. Completely rest. Stillness. Second set, Dhanurasana, bow pulling pose, chin to the mat, bend your knees, hold your feet from the outside. Relax your shoulders, let the work happen in your legs. Exhale everything out. And begin, inhale, kick, back and up, back and up, lift your heart, lift your eyes, little by little go higher, slowly roll forward towards the belly button, lift your chin, now look back towards your toes, look up, lift up, kick, kick, slowly release as you exhale, relax, find stillness right away, touch your big toes together, let your heels play out, practice stillness, relax completely. Chin to the mat. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up onto your knees. Quick water break if you need, but if possible, don't take any water so you don't get cooled down. Sit towards the front of your mat for Sutta Virasana Recline Hero Pose. Scoot your heels to the side and sit between them. If possible, get your hips on the mat. If you need, you can sit on a pillow or a block. If your hips don't come all the way down to the mat, stay up. Bring your right hand, left hand to your heels. If your hips are all the way down, drop your head back. Bring your right elbow, left elbow down. Top of the head, back of the head, and then arms overhead. You go step by step and always keep your knees down. If you're sitting up a little bit off your heels, you can still walk your arms back a tiny bit. Puff your chest up and drop your head back like this. If you're all the way down, reach for opposite elbows and pull your arms down into the mat. Let the elbows pull down. Try to arch your spine, creating a, a bridge with your back. <coughs> if you need to deepen the pose, squeeze your knees together. And whenever you're ready to come up, take one more breath. And one arm, one elbow at a time, carefully find your way up. Turn around and lie on your back, Savasana. Lengthen your arms, lengthen your legs, relax. Good job. Slow, deep breathing. Yoga sit up. If you're going to take the sit up, take your feet together, flex your toes, take your arms overhead, interlace your thumbs, the palms open. Like a book, like this. Inhale, sit up. Double exhale. Hands to the feet, forehead to the knees, elbows to the side. Round your spine. It's a forward fold. Now turn around and face forward. Sit on your knees. Descend towards the back of your mat. Adha Karmasana, half tortoise pose. Inhale, arms overhead. Interlace your thumbs. Prayer script. Arms with the ears, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. 
place only the forehead, only the pinky fingers on the floor. Everything else stays up off the mat. Squeeze your hands and palms together nice and tight. Lock out your elbows. Stretch forward as you sit back. We're getting fresh oxygenated blood to the brain. Try to get your forehead down, even if you need to lift your hips up a little bit. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your core in, and slowly rise up. First your arms, then your whole body. Stretch straight up, getting taller. Exhale, float your arms down. Ustrasana camel pose. Stand up on your knees. Keep your knees at hips width. Keep your feet at hips width. Keep your feet behind your knees. Feet at hips width. Hands at your low back supporting you. Open your chest up. Drop your head back. Press your hips away as you relax your upper body. Let your elbows go to your back. If you feel that low, halfway or more down, take your hands to your chin. Thumbs up high to your chin. Rise, everything press forward. Press your heel forward. Notice further down the wall to it here. Way back. And to your low back for support. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Keep your head above your heart and float your head up. Inhale from your heart to your third eye. Exhale, energy back down towards your heart. One more deep breath, like this. And third exhale. Second set, camel. Feet hip width. If you want to make it easier, bring your feet further apart. To, to make it harder, bring your feet closer together. Bring your knees together. Hands at your low back. Hips forward, chest up, head back. Inhale, exhale, relax your upper body. Look for that wall behind you. Keep your hands at your low back or take your hands to your heels. Or if you practice Lagu Bhadrasana, work your hands down the sides of your legs and try to bring the crown of your head to the floor. Keep pressing your hips forward. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Know that you're stretching from the inside. Lift up your organs from the inside. Lift up and stretch your lungs. Look back, go back. Hands to your low back for support. Now rise all the way up. And turn around and lie on your back for Savasana. Relax. Great job. Slow down your breathing. Relax everything. Long legs and arms. Don't miss the general sensation that comes after doing a deep back bend. Very healing. Yoga sit up, feet together, flex your toes, arms overhead, interlace your thumbs, palms open like a book. Inhale, sit up, double exhale. Hands to the feet, forehead to the knees, elbows to the side. Please turn around and face forward, sit kneeling position for rabbit pose. Shashankasana. Sit with your knees together, heels together. Take your hands out, thumbs outside, fingers inside, and take hold of your heels. If it's hard to grip your heels, you can hold onto a towel or you can hold onto the corners of the mat. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, tuck your chin and round forward. Squeeze your ribcage in. Roll down. Bring the crown of the head to the floor and then lift your hips up. Bring your weight forward to your shins. Start to draw your heels together. Get your mid back to stretch. Mid back. Your two arms stretching like two rubber bands. Lift your hips up, hips up, roll forward. And slowly find your way out. The head comes up last. Untuck your chin. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Let's move straight to Dhanu Shasana, forehead to knee pose. Right leg straight, drop heel in. Foot to the inner thigh, 90 degrees between the legs. 
Inhale, arms overhead, interlace your fingers, all five. Or hold your thumbs. Turn to the right and take hold of your foot. Get all five fingers underneath your feet, your toes, under your foot. Bend your knee as much as you need and bring your forehead to your knee. Drop your left elbow, drop your left shoulder, lean into the left. And little by little, you can start to straighten your legs. Drop your elbows down. This will prep you for the standing forehead to knee bow. If your leg is straight and your forehead's on your knees, your elbows are down, lift your heel off the mat. Inhale, rise all the way up. Please switch legs. Left leg straight, right heel in. Get that nice pressure into your inner thigh. Inhale, arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, turn left. Exhale, take hold of the foot. Bring your forehead to the knee. Bend your knee as much as you need, so you might be like this. The forehead to the knee, with the chin to the throat, compresses the thyroid, parathyroid gland, regulating blood sugar, metabolism. Drop your right elbow, drop your right shoulder, lean into the right. And if your leg is straight, lift your heel off the mat. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, release. Bring your two legs straight. Move your hips side to side several times. Rolling the flesh from underneath your hips. So your two hips, sitting bones, sit down. Press down to the mat. Rooting. Inhale, arms up. Find your first two fingers, your peace fingers. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Lean forward. Hold forward. Catch your toes. Palms facing in. Bend your knees as much as you need, but keep your spine straight. Your chest is almost backward bending like cobra. If your legs are straight, work to lift your heels up. Inhale. Exhale, pull. Look to your toes as you draw your elbows down. Keep your shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, pull. Now stay breathing. Continuously keep pulling. Draw your shoulders back. Keep your chest forward. Inhale. Exhale, pull, pull, stretch. Work to straighten your legs eventually. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale, release your arm. Final twisting. Bend your left leg, cross your right foot over your left. Adamati Andrasana. Place your right hand at your low back for support. Inhale, left arm up, stretch as much as you can. Exhale, elbow outside the knee. Hold your bottom knee. Or you can hold the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Look far to the right. Way to the right. Turn over shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Take one more big breath. And now twist, twist. Look over towards my voice. Nice work. Please unwind. Please switch the crossing of your leg. Bend the right knee, or you can straighten your leg for different variations. Cross your left leg over your right. If your left hip comes off the floor, you can straighten your right leg. Left hand to your low back supporting you. Inhale, right arm up, stretch. Exhale, elbow outside your knee. Hold your bottom knee or hold the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, looking far to the left. Spiral your spine from lower middle to upper. Press your hips down, stretch up. Twist from the middle, from the chest, from your chin, even from your eyes. Your eyes look way left. Inhale, exhale, twist, twist. And then please unwind. Final sit up. Legs straight, arms overhead. Inhale, double exhale. And now come into a comfortable position, cross legs or on your knees. On your knees, preferably with the knees together. Four final breathing, Kapala Pati, Pranayam, Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire is forceful abdominal exhalations, and it looks like this. So I'm squeezing here. The air is getting pushed out through my mouth. We're going to do two sets of 50 breaths. Fill up your lungs. Don't let any movement happen in your shoulders. Your face is soft. Straight arms support a straight spine. Let's begin.
Get ready for a second set. A little bit faster, stronger. Fill up your lungs. Let's begin. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze everything out. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Grab some water if you need and now come into Savasana. Final relaxation, meditation. Lie down on your back. Lie down your back. Completely relax. And let your body begin to feel heavy and supported by the earth. Let your head, skull get heavy and your eyes soften. Let your tongue soften in your mouth and relax your jaw. your whole body from head to toes, melting like an ice cube in the sun. Feel the warmth in your hands and feet. And become receptive to whatever it is you need from practice. Allowing a deep sense of relaxation to settle in at the level of your organs, at the level of your mind, at the level of your soul. Kind of surrender. I welcome you to stay and rest in your savasana, finding a deep relaxation surrender for as long as you need. I thank you so much for joining me for Hatha Yoga. I thank my model, Brent, for helping me. When you do feel ready to come out of your savasana, make sure you do it carefully and slowly. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes and bend your knees, roll over to one side and come into a seated position. We fill our body with light, and with each exhalation, we release peace into the world. We feel protective, blessings of light, exhaling peace and love. We'll finish by chanting Om three times. May our practice benefit all beings everywhere.
Thank you. Namaste. Bye, guys. See you later.